Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liani, I'm here to guide you through your fitness journey. Last week, I posted a video about me trying to lower my heart rate while running. You guys have generously watched it. I think it's like my most viewed video. I am really grateful for all of you. I wanna start by saying that we officially are over 100. So we are currently standing at 103 subscribers. Yay! Okay, we made it through the 100 mark, so I think I can do live streams. I'm going to check that out. As we are Monday, I decided to go for a upper body training because it is kind of important for me to balance running and strength training because strength training is also a really important component of running in order to prevent injuries because it really helps for injury prevention and it helps for the range of motion also that you, you're going to have. I'm just going to do uh, some strength training, upper body, and then we're going to stretch to make sure that flexibility, mobility are still in check. I, if, if you guys, this is the first time you're watching this channel or a video of me. Basically, I decided to use that method in order to lower my heart rate while I was running because I noticed that it was going crazy high when I started giving an effort. So I kind of want to run with a lower heart rate, which means that I'm going to be running a lot slower. And I'm going to do that about four hours a week, five hours a week, every week for as long as it takes in order for me to see an improvement in a similar route. So every four to six weeks, I'm going to take the same eight kilometer route and see if my time improves. But anyway, um, this is, we're Monday right now. Monday, I think is February 5th, I don't know. I am starting another week and I thought of bringing you on my training since I definitely wanna keep up with the Maffetone method. Later today, I wanna study because I have a lot of schoolwork to do and then I will go probably for a run because are you kidding me this weather is beautiful I'm going to the gym and I will update you right after I am just done with my workout it is 11 a.m. wow that was a good session. Um, I ended up burning around 400 calories, which is a good number for me. I would say this is like the top amount of calories I'd like to burn during a strength training. And also given that I kind of want to get a run in today later. So yeah, that's a good number. I was productive in there. Like sometimes I, I get in there and I just, I can't figure out what I'm going to do and I end up doing nothing. <laughs> And it's so unproductive, but today was like the most productive gym session I had in a while. So that was good. I transformed it into a full body workout finally because I am just going to the gym like twice a week for strength training. I'm really gonna focus on running. I started with Bulgarian split squats, which I kind of love. To be honest they really help with um, the power that i have in my legs and since i've started doing those i found my running has really improved it's a lot easier for me to run faster then i went and did some chin-ups i love chin-ups pull-ups i love them um i as a you know former gymnast we used to do those every day like all the time and they were always my favorite like upper body things were always my favorite i normally i back in the days i used to like superset it with push-ups but I did those at the end of my workout not to burn my arms because I knew I was going into lat pull downs which it was weird when I looked at the footage it's like one of my one one of the sides of my back is more developed than the other but let's you know let's pretend that didn't happen and I finished the workout with cable kickbacks so those are really good for your glutes and for the hamstrings I like doing those I really enjoy it however I haven't done those in a while I haven't been training strength training in a while some work to do there and then I finished with some stretches and it was a pretty good session overall. Now I'm gonna go home and study and have lunch and then probably run. I'm just about to go on my run for today. It is still sunny outside. I have my Garmin ready for me. I'm almost five minutes in. We got our first alarm. <laughs> so I'm walking and it's back in range. So, pick it up again. I also set alarms on my Garmin so that it would alarm me if my heart rate is too low or too high. So that'll be over 140 would be too high. So last time I ran for 51 minutes, I've done 5K. So 
So the idea is to be around that 5k mark at around 51 minutes or lower. First k done. It said 9 minutes 45. So it's lower than my 10 minutes 30 from the other day. So we're faster than last week for the first k. I don't want to underestimate warm-ups. Having a good 10 to 15 minutes warm-up, really taking it easy. I've officially been running for 5k. It's a little slower than the other day. My focus right now is just to finish this run and have as low as a heart rate possible. Okay, we made it past six kilometers. I have good moments like this one, but I'm gonna try and beat the heart rate. I'm trying to have a average heart rate lower than 137. We are back on the run, running at nine minutes, 40 per kilometer. And my heart rate's 127. My equipment kind of bothered me a little. My coat kind of keeps rubbing on my watch and it's kind of annoying and also, the layer I have under D right here, it keeps going back up, so that's annoying. I think the hardest part of this one definitely, I felt more frustration than last week because, well, I got passed by a lot of people. We're going to be seven kilometers by the time I'm home. All in all, it was seven kilometers run. I don't know the numbers yet, but I will show them to you right now. It felt easy. It felt like I was going faster. I could push a little more before getting to 140 beats per minute. So I felt stronger on that run for sure. I don't know if the numbers are going to corroborate that. I got a lot of alerts and sometimes it was when I was slowing down, which is kind of frustrating. It felt good. Hi guys, so it is Tuesday, February 6th. I'm starting my long run for today. I'm supposed to run two hours. We'll see how that goes with the weather. It's kind of late, so it might get colder. I decided to try a course today and I'm so lost with how that works with a map and everything. Maybe update you a little less because I will be focusing on not getting lost. I'm not in my home city, so. Hey, I wanted to check in with you because, I mean, look at my view. I'm taking it easy today. I got a bit frustrated yesterday when I got passed by some older women and children, but I know this is about patience and, you know, just trusting the process. So I'm really enjoying myself right now. Like the weather's beautiful. The trail is wonderful. I don't know. I got a great view. So I'm at 10 minutes per kilometer average right now. I'm feeling pretty good. My heart rate is 136, feeling pretty good. I'm using a course today, so I actually have this little red thing at the top, and now my heart rate's too low, <laughs> so I should get back to running. <laughs> yeah, but it's beautiful. I'm almost five kilometers in and I feel like this is, it feels eternal today. I don't know what is wrong. I feel like I'm taking forever. The training is really hard on me today. I'm not liking it. I have this blister. I feel like I, it's taking forever. Every time I stop to talk, my heart rate is too low. Now I got a blister and I can feel it. <sighs> Morale is low today, but I gotta keep pushing and finish that run. I feel overstimulated today. Too much going on. I have to check if I'm going in the right direction. I have to check my heart rate. I have to update you guys. It's like, has it been long enough to update? I think I'm just gonna dial it back down and try to finish, God damn it! I was so pissed off at the watch, at everything. 
that I decided to get back on course running, like full on, you know, five minutes, 30 per kilometer. My heart rate didn't go up. I mean, it went from like 130 to 135 or something, but it was chilling. I was like, what the hell? I was running. I was like, I wasn't pacing myself. I was going full on. Okay, that little run there kind of, it gave me hope to like the long-term thing. And now I'm back, I'm back. I'll finish this. Three kilometers left. And this is just a straight line. I'm just gonna go straight up to the car. Breakthrough. I'm at 128 beats per minute. I'm going eight minutes 30 per kilometer. And I've officially got to seven kilometers about 10 seconds faster than yesterday. Woohoo! I am listening to the insidious plane from the insidious soundtrack. I love listening to horror movie soundtracks when I run. I need kind of something just instrumental and I thought, yeah, why not run on the insidious soundtrack? <laughs> so I'm doing that. I'm almost done. I have about 200 meters left. The sun has definitely set and it is really chilly. My little fingers and my mouth, uh, everything's frozen. I completed the course, but I still wanted to keep going to get like one last lap and it's like 200 meters more. So I just want to know if that last lap's going to be faster. Yay! Okay. Our last lap, 11. 10 minutes, two seconds per kilometer. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this, the sun is setting. Seriously, look, it's getting purple. Beautiful. I'm taking a protein water with electrolytes. Hello. This is, I always have this in my car. The takeaway from today is I did 20,000 steps today. But like, I, I'm not tired. Like I could go back and run like four more hours like this. So yeah, if there's one benefit that I can kind of pick out is that I'm like really not tired at all after it. It takes a lot less time to recover from it. Overall, it felt pretty good. I'm gonna put the stats right here, but like my average heart rate was 132, which is super low. By the way, if you're still here and watching this video, make sure if you haven't already, subscribe, leave a like and a comment. It really helps the channel and I've seen you guys have binged watch like you guys went ham on my last video about math training like thank you so much i have like 300 views <laughs> on that video which is crazy and we are over 100 subscribers so please like make it rise i love helping people i love seeing you guys i love seeing your comments your feedback it's helping me a lot and i i really feel grateful you know 100 people isn't a lot right now but for me, you guys are the world, and you guys are one of the main reasons I'm like, comp like I feel really accomplished by helping you guys. Good morning, everybody. It is currently Thursday of this week. I thought I would sit down today and just like sum up what happened this week. So Monday, I went for an hour run. I'm gonna put all the stats here. I went for a run, which is about an hour and 15 minutes. And then on Tuesday, I went for a longer run. The plan was to do two hours, but I did a little less. Still spent an hour and a half in the zone two. Monday was really fun, but a little frustrating. I went really slow and so I got passed by people and even children so that kind of got to my ego and then on Tuesday uh, at first it was really frustrating because I chose to do a course because it wasn't in my initial city so I had to like open a map on my Garmin watch and this was the first time I was doing that I didn't know exactly how it worked so I had to like figure out the map settings at the same time as checking my heart rate I think the overstimulation kind of got to me so I decided to just like listen to instrumental music and yes i listened to the insidious soundtrack insidious 
this has actually has a lot of like really calm songs like I will put them right over here but like there's the child awakes and many different other songs that are really calm and actually don't have any jump scares in them so they were really nice to run but then after at the end I actually really enjoyed it and my heart rate was like the lowest it's ever been at an average of 132 beats per minute and I actually ran faster this time generally speaking it was really fun like I, I had fun on those runs overall like there were more positive feelings than negative ones and then yesterday on Wednesday I took a complete day off and I did so much cool work I tried to aim for four to five hours of running each week I did four hours this week the idea is to like do four and a half next week I also have to edit the video and it's already long enough so if you're still watching this video make sure you leave a like and a comment to tell me how you think it is and also I will be putting my social media down there so make sure you follow me on Instagram I will be doing a workout this weekend I will not be taking you because it's already been long enough you already have enough footage of me training I will be back next week for the week three of this training and more long easy runs if you if you want to try the method the mafetone method with me see how your progress goes and we can share that together i really want to have a strong aerobic base and really train that zone too so i will still be going 100% zone 2 for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, you can watch my running playlist right over here. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe and keep up to date with what's going on.